Okay, so you're telling me this is not a floating island, this is not a flo floating island, but this is. Really? Really? And it's a no logic. Anyways, <laughs> hey guys and gals, it's 3D Nance, and welcome back for more Splatoon. As far as we went over in Finish Up World 2, took down the boss with not much difficulties, and upgraded our bomb, ink tank, and gun. We have a much faster fire right now. In this part right here, we are going to be going over and exploring World 3. And doing about like half the levels also, since, since we're at it. Because, really, why not? Ah, uh, majestic beauty. Anyways, let us go over and start exploring. Pouring. Now, once again, using the music cue to be able to find levels. And, yeah, things are a lot bigger, but not really complicated, to say the least. But, we have the 11 grip lower here. We're gonna hit this 8 grip right here. Jump, and okay, you know this works. Um, walk over here and get this one up right here. Got our octoling over here. Now I'm gonna see the. Oh yeah, I'm actually gonna throw one. Nice. Um, I'm gonna throw some bombs over there and cover the next level over there. Keep doing this. I know it's, it's kind of tedious, but I don't feel like going all the way over there. Anyways, that's three of the levels uncovered, uncovered already. Next up, let's throw our um, first bomb right here. And then jump into this. And get our next level right here. And then the last levels. Um, okay. This over here looks important, so uh, I have a hunch that this is the next one. Yes, it is. And last level. Not getting onto the freaking ink rail. Head down here. There, here is the last level. That being said, let us head over and do our first levels. And here we are. We are setting off with ink rail skyscraper, walking a fine line. As the name flies right here, we're, de we're, de we're, de we're dealing with ink rails, mostly ink rails. And I gotta say this right now, though, we're probably not gonna get to, to it for a while. I do love the ink rails in Splatoon 2. They're really fun, and all that kind of stuff. I don't know why I'm bringing up the sequel to this game already, but then again, but then again I do prefer the sequel to the, to the original. Oh, well, that's just me. Anyways, let's go over here, kill you, and head over here, and... Huh, there's nobody there. I'm wondering... Is there actually someone right here? Yeah, there is. And... Okay, you're just wanting to run away. Right. I am a genocide, ge genocidal maniac. I must kill these. Anyways, let's head uh, let's head down here. And... Oh, they don't really know that we're here. So, what's the end? All the crime. So, let us jump right here. You know what? I, I, I gotta be stealthy. I gotta be stealthy. Gotta make sure that they don't know what hit them. Until right about here. Damn it! <laughs> well, that's what I get for being stealthy. I missed those eggs over there. <laughs> Rest in peace, eggs. Anyways, we can jump off the ink rail like that and go get to our destination right here. Now, you shoot this, shoot that, and not that, you shoot this. Now, you may notice right here that this is going in a loop instead of the other two, which is just a straight line. Head back here, this is where your second scope is level, where this level is. Little details like that can be kind of tricky, I guess, but overall, still not difficult. Anyways, kill you. Take you down. Damn it, you nothing to get up here. Now, right here. No, in this section right here. This can be kind of fun since you have to you have two digital right here. So pretty much you can use one without punishment and you healthy. So which well I'm gonna be doing here. It's if I can kill all these guys with the with only the ink duo, which I am doing miserably right there. So I'm gonna grab the other ink duo right here and just kill this guy normally. Just so I'm able to save the ink duo for 
for more eggs and that kind of stuff. And now, let us head over to here. Jump up, shoot you. Do the same right here. Do the same right here. And climbing our way up to victory is our Zatfish for this level. Yes, I, I know Zatfish. Zatfish. It's really, really is an honor to get you again. If you know, we gotta power up our city some way somehow, and right here. Um, <laughs> with the creatures of the surface driven to extinction by rising sea levels, the ancestors of the Inklings were free to haul their ten-legged bodies up into the abandoned land. This is how the mollusk, mollusk era began. So, in a way, this is actually a post-apocalyptic... This is a post-apocalyptic shooter. Since this is pretty much this pretty much happens after human race get, gets gets extinct due to the high sea levels. Huh. I wonder if something like that's going on right now. Can't really say, but anyways. With that, kind of our trivia done. Um Let's head to our next level, which is right over here. We are doing Invisible Avenues. Find your path. Now, I think this is the only instance in this game where we are dealing with Invisible Pathways. Which is kind of a change since it's actually a really unique concept, but then again, I shouldn't really be too disappointed since they abuse the living freak out of this mechanic in... Jeez. In... In the next game, but... Yeah, I, and I just completely ignored for the event that we just took that and not going right there. Yeah, sometimes, while you're doing the normal levels, sometimes you will be finding Oculus. And, you turn around, turn around, thank you. Take you, take you down. Now, I have to say this right now, if you're doing the Amiibo challenges, which I'm not, the invisible pathway from this level, geez. For the level for the Squid Enable is the Limited Ink. And note for the fact that you need to shoot and able to actually find your way through certain parts. That is very difficult, to say the least. Now, I haven't actually done it since all of it, the Squid Enable is the only Enable that I don't have. So I never really got to experience it. So, yeah, I can't really say much of that. But, yeah, if you're doing the... So, if you're doing the... The Amiibo challenges, be warned, this is a pretty difficult one. Anyways, let us head down here. Wow! Really? <laughs> well, first step! And and then you really got a question, when was this even going to come anyways? Knowing how, knowing how many times I died in Kirby. Anyways, uh, let us try this again. I'm going to Got one of them. One of them again, I did just stand there. And I'm just kind of my own fault. Anyways, um, head over here, and so we got that over there. The whole pathway is invisible. It's just, it's just lovely. And the worst part is we have freaking squeezies. Ain't that, ain't that something? Anyways, um, I'm gonna do some platform right here. Pop up here. And. Ooh, um, very tight right here. And. You know, that's just. Great. And. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take a receipt jump right there. Let us head down here. And I'm gonna throw a bomb. That did not go anywhere. So. This baddie right here. And. Wow, um, I actually thought I, thought I was going to die right there for a second, but thank the god that didn't happen. Anyways, I'll just get this armor right here, and I'll have to admit, this is one of those rare points where this game actually gets dip difficult, because this can be kind of a pain to deal with, to say the least. Well, at least that's how, kind of how I remember it. Because pretty much, the best way to do this is just to 
duck down every time you shoot him. Instead of standing up on the platform. But then again, you kind of have to for this last part right here. So, a way that you're actually able to cheat this is if you throw a first bomb at the one to the left or right, shoot, then shoot the middle one. Go back, then go over to the side that you didn't shoot, and take out that one by shooting. That is an easy way that you can actually do it. But I'll admit, that can be kind of difficult if you're really not prepared for what's ahead. That part. Um, anyways, um, this level now done. Let's see what we're getting right here. Twice a year, the Inkopolis Collection Fashion Show captures the hearts, minds, and wallets of those cities and young youth. Is there no room for these creatures' minds for anything but battle and fashion? As it is right now, um, I just, uh, I just, like, got to the, I just, the jellyfish to the right, right there. I would look completely freaking hideous looking like that, but that's just me. Anyways, um, that being said, let us head to our next level, which is right over here. And now we have Flutter Junkyard. We, 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 Jade Robots. Once again, pronunciations is my bitch. <laughs> Let us go into here and see what we're up against this time. Let us super jump over here, and and now we have flutters right here. Now flutters co pretty much cover the area, and this is kind of like in a maze-like kind of thing. But if they spot you, like like I have right here. They have a little red laser right here, and they'll start chasing you. If they get you, you will die. So be so be careful whenever you are being chased by one. So yeah, I have to say that right now. Um, anyways, now it's not just if if they see you, but if they also see your geez, the ink, jeez, if they also see your ink color, they will start going over and start clearing. Clearing up. So if you're in your hiding in your ink and they're start you know and they start coming at you, don't put them at that. They're not they're not going to stop until they completely clear that ink. But anyway, now instead of taking the ink rail right here, we're gonna do some precise stuff right here. I'm gonna shoot randomly right here so I can actually get this right turn. Uh, you know, just do that. Yeah. Um. Do that, you can get the suffix gold. No, you don't really need to do it that way, you just throw a bomb like, like that, and then get it. But I did things a little bit more complicated, but that's just me. Because I love playing this dangerously. Let's get our eggs right here, and go on to the next checkpoint, and it looks like we have a lot of hidden enemies right here. And by a lot, we only have like two, and I look down and get that too fast. Second Octarian came up, but let's walk over here. Keep swimming, and we have a bulk right here. So we need key, and I wonder where it is! Clearly not right there, as I just showed. But something tells me that, yes, it's guarded. Why wouldn't it not be guarded? And, uh, okay, yeah, it is. And, alright then, so let us head up here. Let us, let us head back to this. To this lock vault right here. Head up. And I'm gonna. I was gonna make all these guys from right here. And. Oh, excuse me, they can get me from right here. Oh, yeah, and what would also be very expensive. But, anyways, we got our last second right here, which is a giant maze. Now, I'm gonna use our secret right here. I'm gonna use the secret right here just so we can be able to move a lot quicker. Through here. Now there are eggs that you're able to get here, which I wanna try to get. And I'm gonna move here. Okay, um Alright, so And I just got fine. Oh. Oh, that's just even lovelier. That's just oh great. Um Okay, there's not a flutter right here. Alright, so pretty much gotta keep wandering around until you're able to find a certain Octarian. 
that is hidden in the age for dickish reasons. And now it is this is a good point to use your map since you're able to find it find the Octarian easier that way, but at the same time that kinda has a risk of its own. It, and that has to be shown right there. Um, geez, um Wow, um I never really had this much trouble actually finding the banana thing, and there we are! That ain't gonna save you. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, excuse me, it's over there. Never mind, I went the wrong way, and now I'm gonna have to pay the penalty for that. And now I'm gonna have to take the long way over. And, okay, we're, okay, we're done. Thank the gods. Take me out of here! And we have this giant water right here that's just inactive. Yeah, um, anyways. We're gonna jump down here and get the power up right here that you're gonna get. And I won't lie to you when I say this, I actually had a time where I fell down and I actually had to go for the whole level again. That was not fun, to say the least. Thank god that experience did not happen right here. That being said, we are done this level right here, and with this level being done, as we are getting getting even more knowledge, the first battle of the Great War ended victory of for the Octarian forces. The diligent Octarians easily dominated the Ethans, who were unable to wake up early enough in the morning to defend themselves. So in a way, history repeated. Um they were easily taken down because they just could not wake up because oh hey holiday sleep in oh wait never mind we're at war some history right there for you anyways that being said next time well next time that we're gonna be here we're gonna be we're gonna be finishing up world the geez, world three and well not necessarily head on to the next world but still. So. Anything's possible. And I failed to stay on the uh, pink rail. That being said, I will see you guys until then.